Hey guys, it's Mike Mass. Welcome to another segment in my series of RV lithium upgrades. This lithium upgrade is going to be different and unique from my others where I normally remove the AGM batteries, then design, rewire, and install a 30 to 50 amp lithium system with solar to support the lithium capacity. In this video, instead of removing the AGM batteries, I'll actually rip out this brand new 300 amp Balaboard factory lithium upgrade from Renegade to make way for a professional Zantac Corporation RV lithium upgrade and central AC system using this Veracruz Super C. After a decade of designing RV lithium systems for RV manufacturers and major vendors such as Zantrax Corporation, Victron, and Lithionics, in this film I'll provide an overview of three different Zantrax lithium systems which I designed and installed in this great looking Veracruz Super C. There's a standard system using a single 240 amp hour Zantrax module, a super system using two modules doubling the capacity, and finally a max system using three modules with 720 amp capacity and over 9,000 watt hours capable of running the roof AC almost all night on a 50% cycle. Any of these systems will work fine on any RV from small class C's to larger super C's like this beautiful Verona from Renegade or even a large class A like this toy hauler from Newmar all the way up to bus conversions. As an industry first and a bonus to this video, I'll also share my LiPAC AC system, a central air conditioning system which I also installed in the same Veracruz. This AC system is designed to provide overnight air conditioning comfort while off the grid. The EcoFlow AC unit is 70% more efficient than a roof unit, making it ideal for even small 300 amp lithium RV upgrades. Unlike the Battleborn factory lithium upgrade, which uses three separate Group 31 automotive batteries with multiple exposed connections and bus bars to tie the batteries together, a single Xantrax module replaces the three batteries and there's only two wires to connect. Regretfully, the three Battleborn batteries also lack the Bluetooth feature, battery cutoffs, and status LEDs. In retrospect, each Xantrax battery module has its own Bluetooth transmitter and app for monitoring the battery status, a power switch on the battery, and LEDs which show the battery status and charging at a glance. Xantrax lithium modules are safer as well, since all the lithium cells, wiring, and battery management system are totally sealed in an all-metal case. Each Xantrax module also offers perimeter mounting. This eliminates multiple nylon straps, buckles, and a battery box to secure separate batteries. For full 30 amp off the grid power, I teamed the Xantrax lithium batteries with their compact solid state Pro 3000 watt inverter charger. Aside from powering the Veracruz 120 volt appliances, the Pro 3000 inverter is also capable of charging the lithium batteries at an amazing 150 amps. The Pro 3000 inverter can also surge up to 6,000 watts for a few seconds to start the Veracruz air conditioner, limiting the need for so-called soft start modules. I also equipped the Pro 3000 inverter with Xantrax Bluetooth remote control panel. The inverter app allows you to make vital changes such as setting shore power, charging amperage, high and low shutdown voltage, settings, and much more. The inverter app also provides a graphic display showing the system's current flow in volts and amps. Getting back to the lithium install, Xantrax Pro and RV Marine batteries offer an outstanding 6,000 cycle lifespan and a 10 year warranty. If you're new to lithium, 6,000 life cycles means if you were to fully discharge and recharge your Xantrax battery every single day, you could do it for 17 continuous years. And even then, your battery would still have 70-80% capacity. In an effort to show just how versatile the Zantac lithium modules are, I installed three different Zantac systems in my Veracruz. The standard system uses a single Zantrax 240 amp hour lithium module and a Pro 3000 watt inverter. This cost effective lithium option is designed to replace typical AGM house batteries. The standard system provides 3,072 watt hours of capacity to power the Veracruz's 12 and 120 volt devices. 
The Zantac Super System provides the same advantage outlined in the standard system, except it uses two Zantac modules in parallel to produce 480 amp hours and 6,144 watt hours, near doubling the Veracruz optional lithium battery offering. This system is perfect for extended off-the-grid excursions and replenished daily from the Veracruz's solar system or the 550's dual alternators on the engine. The Xantrax Max Lithium System, the one I chose, uses three 240 amp hour lithium battery models to provide the ultimate lithium system for the Veracruz, or in fact any RV, regardless of size or class. For this installation, the third battery module was mounted in the inverter compartment. This triple module system provides 720 amp hours of power and a hefty 9,200 watt hours for carefree off the grid camping. This high capacity, high amperage system easily powers the Veracruz's roof air conditioner for around 10 hours on a 50% cycle, or cable to run the EcoFlow central AC system for 24 continuous hours, or run 24 seven with the help of the solar system. Regretfully, the one most important missing function of low cost batteries is they lack an important Bluetooth feature. Each Zantex module is equipped with its own Bluetooth transmitter, allowing the owner to monitor operations such as battery percentage, voltage, current, wattage, battery and BMS temp, charging and discharging, all at a glance. Battery safety is a prime consideration when purchasing batteries. If a failure or collision should occur using a plastic battery case, it would offer no real protection containing the shorted lithium cells or the thermal event. Another Zantex feature is each module is equipped with a power switch right on the battery. This allows the owner to shut the battery down between trips for storage or emergency. Zantex modules are also equipped with status LEDs right on the battery, allowing the owner to confirm charging or charge levels on the battery itself. These same LEDs can also warn the owner should an error occur, such as charging or discharging errors, over or under temperatures and more. On my Veracruz installation, I use separate fusing on each individual battery, so should a battery go down, the other two remain in operation. In addition, I installed marine cutoff switches on each battery. This allows me to use any combination of three batteries, or just one battery, two batteries, or keep the third, or just keep the third as a reserve. Also note, each time a battery is charged or discharged in freezing temperatures, it creates plating, a permanent damage to the cells. In brief, as temperatures drop, the electrolyte between the cells thickens. The colder the temperature, the thicker the electrolyte becomes. As the ions attempt to pass through the thickened electrolyte during discharge and charging, some ions fail to reach the other plate and remain permanently lodged in the electrolyte. As thousands of ions become permanently lodged, they form an insulated barrier called plating, which permanently reduces both efficiency and battery capacity. For this reason, if a battery is not heated, I'll include a compartment heater using extreme RV and marine heaters to maintain compartment temperatures above 38 degrees. Extreme heaters are all metal and fully automatic. They are 120 volt powered by the lithium system or shore power during off use. For summer use, the lithium batteries require outside ventilation. System heat must be removed from the compartment using openings and fans for positive ventilation to retain battery cycles in life. Getting back to our Wave 2 AC unit, by opening a single door, the Wave 2 provides 5,100 BTU of cooling or 6,100 BTU of heat flowing directly across the couch and Murphy bed, providing wisp required comfort. Consuming only 200 to 400 watts, the Wave 2 can also be used while driving down the highway or even used to keep the RV cool while enjoying a meal at Cracker Barrel. Thanks to the Wave 2's low power and eco mode, it can operate all night using only one kilowatt. While installation will vary coach to coach, I had to relocate a ton of plumbing under the cabinet to allow the ductwork to exit under the coach, hidden from view. When cooling, one exhaust duct pushes hot air outside under the coach, while the other duct intakes cooler air for the condenser. Since the plastic exhaust ducts release unwanted heat in the coach, I insulated the entire duct. This is now the third wave AC system I've installed in RVs with great results. 
The Wave 2 offers a new era in comfortable sleeping while off the grid. Finally, I'd like to say a few words about my Renegade Veracruz. Once behind the wheel, driving the Veracruz isn't much different than driving a heavy-duty pickup or SUV. The Veracruz body is mounted on a hefty Ford F550 4x4 diesel chassis, allowing visiting off-road attractions or winter travel. Once inside, with the 12-foot slide extended, the Veracruz offers the most spacious floor plan of any 30-foot coach available. Renegade's design team located the bathroom full aft, so gone is the typical mid-bath which always blocked the living space. The Veracruz is wide open front to rear. While most owners prefer a permanent bedroom, a Murphy bed with a real inner spring mattress keeps the coach 10 feet shorter. So instead of dealing with a 40-foot coach, you're only 30 feet in length. The Wave 2 air conditioner is located directly across the couch for day lounging, which turns into a Murphy bed at night to provide a comfortable night's sleep off the grid. My Veracruz is used mostly for my consulting business. One of my trades since the 80s was the design and development of Helicam, the world's first successful heavy lift military drone for frontline defense. Since Helicam requires continued flight tests and consulting, it's not uncommon for us to be pinned down at a test range for days at a time without shore power. Therefore, having an RV with a good lithium and solar system backed by an Onan AKW diesel generator makes this all possible. In conclusion, I hope you enjoyed my Xantrax Lithium and Wave 2 AC upgrade. If you like more information on Xantrax, Renegade, or EcoFlow, visit the website shown. If you'd like to see other films on lithium systems, solar, and RV electronics, visit my ad-free personal website at www.rvvolt.com. Thanks for watching.